Hi, everyone. This is Super Galactic, and I'd like to welcome y'all to my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about is a video that I was watching a couple of days ago called uh, Cosmic Awakening Reality. And uh, this woman was talking about the Anunnaki and the whole psyop about the Anunnaki. She was basically saying that there's people out there spreading lies saying that the Anunnaki is going to come back and upgrade our DNA. And she just flat out said that is not true, that that is not what the Anunnaki want to do. I don't understand why people or telling lies like that and causing confusion because I'm sure that a lot of people are wondering about that. Is the Anunnaki indeed going to come back and try to upgrade our DNA? And what Cosmic Awakening Reality said was they're not going to do that. As a matter of fact, they're not even going to come back and try to save us. Now if they do come back. They got their own reasons for that. And I think. Cosmic. Cosmic. Awakening reality says. That. Uh, they're coming back. For some kind of rubies. Now. You've also heard. In the past. That the Anunnaki created us to mine gold. And I believe that. Not only does Cosmic Awakening Reality say that, but if you watch Billy Carson's YouTube channel, he says that as well. And the thing about Billy Carson is he gets his hands dirty. He actually goes out into other countries like Egypt, gets his hands dirty, and figure out what these cultures are like and how they actually live. That's the reason why I can't agree with people like Jason Bashir. Because Jason Bashir, all he's doing is just reading documents. He's just reading other people's books that they wrote. You got to do more than that, Jason. I'm sorry, but you got to do more than that. You got to actually do the kind of stuff that Bella Carson does. Actually, get your hands dirty, go into these other countries, look at their culture and how they live. You've got to do that. So, I mean, anybody that don't really get their hands dirty, I don't take people like that serious. But uh, Billy Carson does. He gets his hands dirty. He goes into Egypt. He looks at the pyramids. He tries to understand their culture. And how they live. He just don't read all the books and documents. That have been recorded in the ancient past. He looks at their culture. The pyramids. And that's what you got to do. That's called real research. He's not lazy about it. I actually take. Billy Caution's work very serious. But. If the Anunnaki does return. They're not going to come up here and try to upgrade our DNA. Our DNA is where it needs to be. It doesn't need an upgrade. That's what cosmic awakening reality was trying to get across. We don't need our DNA upgraded. And with all this still stuff talking about androgynous stuff, what do you think that's all about? That's talking about upgrading our DNA. And do you think that the true Anunnaki, the true ones that are on our side, do you think they're going to allow something like that where some guy tries to turn us into androgynous people? No, they're not going to allow that. Because you're tampering with human DNA. You cannot do that. You cannot come on planet Earth masquerading as a god Trying to do that to the human DNA. The Anunnaki are not going to allow that. They're just not. And 
I got a lot of respect for Cause that Awaken Reality for speaking the truth like that. Because this kind of truth needs to get out. Because there's people out there confused because of all this lie that's being told that the Anunnaki are going to come to planet Earth and upgrade our DNA. I don't know why people want to tell lies like that. Because it's very easy for people to get deceived and get all confused. That's why I'm always careful who I listen to. You just heard me say what I felt about Jason Bashir's. Yeah, I took a look at his channel and seen a lot of his content. But do I believe what he said? No, I can't take him serious. Especially when he said what he said about Billy Carson. He said something like, I know all of my subscribers look at Billy Carson's, but you got to understand, Billy Carson has got it all wrong. And I'm like, Dude, you talking about a man that gets his hands dirty. You talking about a man that actually goes to Egypt, studies their culture, looks at their pyramids, looks at the clay tablets, and tries to understand all that and put that all together. How can Jason say something like this? And, and think that people are to take him serious. Jason, come on, brother. What you're saying about Billy Carson is not true. That man does a lot of work. He's dedicated about getting the truth out there so people will know it. But... That's why I'm always careful about who I listen to. Because I'm not going to let somebody tell a bunch of lies, get me all confused, and have me deceived. I know when I hear BS. I do. I know when I hear it. And I'm always careful about that. I don't just jump on everything that anybody says unless I know for a fact they know what they're talking about because I check behind them. I always do. I listen to Jeffrey Darty and I agree with a lot of what he says but then there's some that I don't. But most of the time when Jeffrey Darty is saying something I agree with because he's got a hundred hours and Biblical scripture. I mean, he he's really read the Bible more than uh, Billy Graham. I mean, name somebody that actually reads the Bible a hundred hours, puts a hundred hours in just reading scripture in the Bible. Name somebody who actually does that. I mean, you talking about dedication? That's dedication right there. And I actually told him that when I was listening to his video. I told him, I said, you probably read the Bible more than Billy Graham and put more hours in it. He was like, yeah, I do. You know I do. Because a hundred hours of studying the Bible, that's, that's dedication right there. Christians don't even have that kind of dedication. That's just facts. I mean, the truth be known about that, people want the Bible read to them instead of actually reading it. But again, this Anunnaki stuff, they're not going to come back and upgrade our DNA. Don't believe that lie. You hear somebody saying that, Shut them down. Turn them off. Don't even waste your time listening to them. Because that's not true. That's all false. Anunnaki are not going to come to earth and save us. They're not going to come on earth 
and upgrade our DNA. They're just not going to do that. That's not what they're about. And this whole side up that they're going to do that, don't believe that crap. And I, I, I recommend you to listen to people like Billy Clark. I recommend you to listen to people like Cosmic Awakening Reality. Because they're not going to get out there and put out a style on their channel saying something that is not true. And all this crystal stuff that Cosmic Awakening Reality talks about, crystals and, you know, healing crystals and stuff, I believe those things really help people. But she's right when she says that the Anunnaki coming back to upgrade our DNA. She's right. It's a side up. It's a lie that people are telling. So I... I give fair warning. If you hear people saying that the Anunnaki are going to upgrade our DNA, don't waste your time even listening to them because they're lying. They're spreading false information. And I just ain't got time for those type of people. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about what I'm saying. And hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I make another video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And all of y'all have a good one. See you later. <laughs>